All right, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel, and uh, I've got some pretty good advice for everyone today. Um, so, <laughs> so I bought this lot of items. Okay, it was two lots. Okay, I got what I believe is a woodblock print. You can see some details as I gently caress the rice paper or whatever that's over it. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a video where I take off the rice paper and we see what there is under that. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out together, whether or not it's a real woodblock print. Paid about $35 for it, so not a horrifying price no matter what. <clears throat> Even if it's fake, I mean, you know, maybe sell it for $20 or something. So we haven't lost too much. Now, these bronze dogs before you... <laughs> that were labeled bronze dogs at the auction are in fact resin dogs so do you hear that it's like thwacking thick plastic so these were advertised as bronze dogs and I bought them now this whole lot these two bronze dogs and this glass Robert held paperweight uh, that's the name of the company Robert held art glass made in Canada got a little signature right there even if we didn't uh, still have the sticker that's actually a pretty rare little thing I saw one of them on sale online for $75 <clears throat> so I mean you know that that more than makes up for the $25 bid on the two bronze dogs and the and the paperweight there but uh but yeah these bronze dogs are resin so I contacted the auction house and I was like hey uh these are fake <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed. Now, I'm going to get to why I'm really disappointed in a second, and that's going to be my bit of advice about uh, online auctioning here. But this is my first um, illegitimate object that I've bought. Now, I'm not saying I haven't bought stuff that was fake, but it wasn't advertised as, you know, completely illegitimate. Whereas these were just bronze dogs, which they probably should have been bronze, right? Not just, not just the color, maybe? So anyway... <clears throat> so I only paid uh, sixty dollars for this entire collection in front of you, which the paperweight is supposed to be worth seventy-five or you know in that area. It's a pretty uncommon thing, and you know who knows about the uh, woodblock print as long as it's real. But then you have to determine the age that it came from. I mean, there's there's some stipulations to the value of a woodblock print, even if it's correct. So. <clears throat> What I didn't know before I shopped at this auction was about something called third-party shipping, okay? So, these items here, now, you guys have seen the bulk of some of the things that I've had shipped here. I had a 19-inch vase made out of metal shipped here for less than $60. I think it was 35 or something, and it was a big, big box, okay? <clears throat> the most I've ever paid for shipping is $65. And that was for a box of pretty substantial weight. I mean, like, a little bronze piece, a big vase. I mean, there was a fair bit of stuff in it. A book. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I understand why that one was so much. Now, now this, this is a combined weight of maybe four pounds. And granted, the measurements of the painting are a bit off, and you would have to use a larger box. Because the auction company didn't want to box the items that they were selling they hired out to a third party um, boxing and shipping company so shipping these items cost me cost me a hundred dollars a hundred dollars to ship these four items like really maybe a combined weight of four to five pounds a hundred dollars some best I can afford advice. If you're shopping in online auctions, do not ever buy from any company that only does third-party shipping. It is grossly expensive. It, <laughs> it is so upsetting. And you know what? You've already bought the items. So then, in a few days, you get a quote from their shipping company who they're hiring out to, and, uh, well, you've already bought the items, so what are you going to do? Tell them not to ship it from, you know, Kentucky or China or wherever? I, you have only one option at that stage, and that is to pay the person who is telling you that it cost $100 to ship a four-pound box. So, <laughs> I 
I can't stress this enough. Um, I've been doing a lot of buying on highbid.com. Now that's a pretty good website and you can get some deals. You can also get some fake bronze dogs and you can get a hundred dollar shipping on a box that's four pounds. So <clears throat> what you have to do is go down to every ad that you look at and like because uh, they're all different auction houses. They all have different rules. It's it's really confusing. I mean, I almost don't even recommend Hybid because it's so confusing. There's so many ins and outs. There's companies that don't ship. There's companies that you don't even realize are in Australia until you see that like it's AUD for the denominations instead of a uh, you know USD. So you know they're all over in Canada and Australia. Uh, I think those are the only two other countries I've seen them in. But um, but yeah. I mean, you just got to look at every single bit of information in the ad for the auction lot and make sure that there is shipping, first off. Second, make sure that it's not third-party shipping because basically what that means is instead of the auction company putting something in a box for you, they allow someone else to charge you $60 to put it in a box and then you're just on your own. I mean, I would much rather deal with any auction company that's willing to put something in a box to save me $60. I will never again buy anything from any company that says third-party shipping because it increases the price of the lot by $100. It's insane. That's $40 more than I've ever paid for shipping on anything. And uh, yeah, I'm just super grossed out. It was literally 99 99 99 something. <clears throat> So yeah, you know, I got these uh, fake dogs and they're, they're a substantial portion of the weight. I mean, they, I think they're filled with sand or something, <laughs> just in the bottom. So they were probably two thirds of the weight. Um, they were fake and they cost probably $60 to ship, which I mean, I can't tell you how disappointed I am. I already spoke with the auction house. I got a $15 refund. Which, I mean, fair enough, you know, $15 is more than the auction house made on this lot. They gave me more money than they made selling this item. But, I mean, really, this thing cost me, you know, $75 to get here. So, you know, I mean, I probably wouldn't do business with that particular auction house again anyway. Oh, and they told me they fired the guy that mislabeled this stuff. And I was like, well, I'm not trying to get anybody fired, man. It's just that, you know, clearly these aren't bronze. He's like, well, it's a combination of things. Which, you know, it's simple enough to say somebody's fired, you know, online. Like, probably nobody's fired. It's what it is, you know. <laughs> it's what I would say to a customer that was mad. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, we already let that guy go. <laughs> he won't be an issue anymore. Duncan. Old Duncan. You remember Duncan used to work here until we fired him? Because that guy with the bronze dogs, that didn't happen. That's not a thing. So anyway, this is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Um, you know, since I'm a beginner, I'm always going to come up with kind of like new weird tips that old experts and stuff don't have for you. And maybe they do. I mean, maybe somebody's already made six videos about this. But I think I'm the guy on that. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and somebody gave me the worst idea today. We're going to introduce something. Antiques Olympics. <laughs> I don't know how set on it I am, but man, wouldn't it be neat if we started a collection of one thing from every country around the world that was either antique or art? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be pretty cool? We're going to give that a little bit of thought. We got Canada sitting right here. Should be Japan sitting right there. We got plenty of Japan. We got plenty of China, plenty of America. Ooh, maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of the old Holland hollandaise sauce whatever whatever i'm done i'm done i got a bunch of yard work to do i love you guys austin best i can afford antiques channel like comment share and subscribe if you want to be friends just do it